We said the sea here represents the world. People of the world, um, those who have worshipped the image of the beast, who have taken the mark of the beast and worshipped the image of the beast, when the great tribulation, which chapter 16 is talking about, it is the great tribulation, the seven bowls, and those bowls are the wrath of God upon the entire globe. So those people of the world who rejected the Lord Jesus, worshipped Satan, took the mark of the beast, which is the satanic evil agendas of the 21st century, they all died like the blood as of a dead man. And every creature in that sea died. Meaning, if any human being follows the world, desires the world, the pleasures, the treasures, the temptations of the world, at the end of the day, the world, a time is coming, it will die, and those who are swimming, living in this world, they will die with it as well. No matter who you are, what you are, how rich, wise, smart, beautiful, intelligent, the world will die because God's wrath is coming upon it for the world has rejected the true divine God who is and will always be Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All glory to his holy and mighty name. So those who follow the world, those who chase after the world, they will die with it. Since the sea is going to die, then everything that lives in it will die as well because the source of those creatures' life was the sea. Since that source died, then whoever lived in that source, for that source, will die with it as well. What are you going to gain by chasing the world? At the end, nothing. You will lose yourself. And you will lose everything with yourself. He who has no God in his heart is dead. And not just any God. Jesus Christ. Amen.